This one says an investor buys a perpetuity immediate. Okay, this is the regular formula. Um, providing annual payments of one with an annual effective of I and Macaulay duration of 17.6 years. Okay, so we want to first find out the Macaulay duration based upon a perpetuity immediate instead of equal to 17.6, right? So um, Macaulay duration within a perpetuity immediate involves a level perpetuity immediate over the regular perpetuity, right? So um, if we, if you're familiar with our formulas, you'll know that level perpetuity immediates involve the one over I plus uh, one over I squared, similar to the P, in, it's essentially the P, the P and Q formula, but we're, we're doing level perpetuity with uh, with annual payments of one, so then it's gonna be increasing by one. So P and Q are gonna be one and one. So that is not, and now we can combine these Right. And then we can find out that this is equal to one plus i over i squared, right? And uh, the equation with Macaulay duration is also just always over the original present value of everything else without any modifications as we do the numerator. So this is just only one over i, right? So now if I were to put these together, I would get that uh, this just essentially equals one plus I over I, and I could just set this equal to 17.6, right? So now I could solve for I from here. I could do, I could move this to the other side. This becomes 16.6 I. Then I'm gonna do a one divided by 16.6 I, and then I'm gonna find out that I is 0 0.06024. Now they're saying that calculate the Macaulay during you're just using this instead of I, right? So I could do what I got from here, the I that I got from here, multiply it by two, and then I'll find out that I is, uh, the new I is 0.12, right? So I'm gonna do 1.12, because they have one plus 0.12, over 0.12, and I'm gonna solve from here, and do 1.12 divided by 0.12, and get 9.3333. So it's gonna make uh, be the answer.